actually a really interesting story. Okay, so we're going to get into uh, Westworld. It is a popular TV show. I don't remember exactly what network it's on. HBO. On yeah, HBO. I'll, it's, it's, if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's really good. I, I, I haven't watched one yet because uh -huh. I like to binge them. So once once the season finishes, I'll binge all 10. It's only 10 episodes to hour long, but okay. it's, it's a good show. You should check it out. It's yeah. definitely within the gaming culture. The yeah, type I, of show yeah. And so, so I've heard of this. I've heard of this show um, uh, in the past. I heard it's really good. Uh, mm -hmm. They just released a video game on mobile. Um, it's called Westworld: the, the Game, and it has a striking resemblance to another uh, very popular mobile game, uh, Fallout Shelter, which is um, a property of Bethesda Studios. Now, at, at first glance, you may think like, oh yeah, they have some similar qualities. This looks like this, this functions like this, but it gets even deeper than that because it has been proven that not only did they, um, you know, straight up rip all Fallout Shelter, it's built on the exact same code. And the reason that they know this is because the game suffers from the same bugs that yes. Fallout Shelter did. Yep. And and you may be asking, well, how did they get to code? The thing is, Bethesda actually mm. um, contracted the development of the game out to a uh, 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 developer that goes by the name of Behavior Interactive. Okay. And Behavior Interactive also developed this Westworld game. So they would have had access to that Fallout Shelter 76 source code. So not not 76, it, Fallout Shelter. I'm sorry, Fallout Shelter source code. So what apparently happened, what Bethesda is accusing is that um, behavior and WB built Westworld off of that source code, and yeah. uh, you know basically they changed the assets to make it Westworld, but it's essentially the same game, and the games play the same. I'm um, actually downloaded it, it's deleted now, but yeah, it's they're the same game. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same game. Yeah, same I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like just looking at the trailer, uh, when you look at the trailer at first glance, like with all of the um, like top side stuff, it doesn't really look like it. But as soon as you get underground, it's like, OK, this is Fallout Shelter, my boy. Yeah. It's like what well, you're not fooling anybody over mm -hmm. here. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, and, not, yeah. I'm not sure. And with this, the the, the the suit also claims that the reason um, gave a reason for doing is that they wanted to capitalize on the popularity of Westworld and get it out as soon as possible. Ah, uh, okay. And I, so that that's what their that's that's what their alleged mo um 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 reason for reason. them uh, ripping off their code. But uh, this seems to me a uh, pretty cut and dry case. Oh yeah. It just it just depends on what what again what the contract says because again they contract with Behavior Software. And if the contract doesn't say that behavior couldn't use that code for something else, you know, they might be in the clear, but the contract SOL, says, boys. <laughs> yeah, if the contract is, is explicitly says this code is, is um, exclusive to Fallout Shelter and is owned or or, um, or can't be used without permission, then it, then there's a problem. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens with this. Um, I, I agree that this should be pretty um, open and shut. But it, it's all going to depend on on their actual contract. Right. Uh, well, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and let this one go, and uh, we'll figure out what's what happens uh, when more news develops. Yeah. All right. Now we're getting into the conversation, the topic of the hour, and it's crossplay. <laughs> yeah, crossplay. <laughs> we're talking about crossplay. Um. Okay. So Nintendo and Xbox have definitely been uh, playing nice when it comes to crossplay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have games like Rocket League. Um, we have uh, the newly released Fortnite on Switch, which is cross-play with Xbox One. And we also um, have... Um, what's that? Pinball FX, right? Pinball Pin FX Oh, yeah, 3. Pinball FX 3. But no, I'm talking about the, the one that the story is based off oh, of, and that's Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Minecraft is um, now, you know, cross-play with damn near everything um, right. with the newest um, update, the, the Play Together uh, update. I and believe. they announced they announced this last year to play together yeah. upgrade. They announced it last year and said, "Hey, look, we're releasing this, and everybody's going to be able to play with everybody else. Right. Um, you're going to be able to move all of your stuff over. So if you log in on your Switch and play, and you collect coins or diamonds or whatever you collect in Minecraft, when you get home and log in on your Xbox, it will be there. And when you go to Grandma's house and log on to her PC, it will be there. Yeah. So yeah. I, so." Then, yeah, so so what happened this week was um, uh, 
Switch decided to uh, team up with Microsoft and take a jab at Sony on this by releasing a play together commercial mm -hmm. which showcased an Xbox One player and a Switch player uh, playing Minecraft together and having oh so much fun. <laughs> yes. Oh so much fun. Yes. Oh so much and fun. Yeah. This this is the first time I can remember two competing console platforms teaming up in this way. Yeah, especially yeah, I've, with the yeah, go yeah, ahead. I was gonna say, especially with a, a broad marketing push like this. Exactly, because we just talked about how Sony um, blanked out or like blurred out an Xbox controller <laughs> in an image on their website. Right. Uh, this is a full on commercial showing both a Nintendo Switch and an Xbox One controller yeah. at the exact same time. Exactly. It's uh, it's pretty astounding, and and this was we probably haven't seen anything. Um, like this since uh, Sonic was on Nintendo consoles. Like this, right. this is a big moment right now. Right. The Final Fantasy announcement on the Xbox stage. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah. Grand Theft Auto uh, announcement on the E3 <laughs> on the stage. Yeah, Remember that? Yeah. That yeah, shit was yeah. crazy. We almost like, yeah, fuck you, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was such a fanboy. Uh, that was what? That was Grand Theft Auto. That was. Four. Four. Yeah, that was yeah. four. And he came out with a tattoo. He was like, oh. <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, back in the day. But uh, yeah. yeah, so so it's it was actually pretty funny and um, you know pretty important in terms of what this means for crossplay. Uh, I mean, I, judging by this, if there's the option to to have crossplay, uh, Nintendo and Xbox are are down for it. And right. uh, when, you know, we, we've we seen games uh, release very recently that are on, um, you know, both Xbox and um, Switch, Switch and, and on PC. You know, right. um, the thing that comes to mind for me is Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's coming out on Switch this, what, September, yeah, right? It's coming out on Switch. And it, they have a weird pre-order bonus where if you <laughs> pre-order, you get this weird Super Nintendo, uh, I think Dragon it's Ball game. Yeah. Dragon Ball uh, Shin Doboken or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah, the, I saw the that. jankiest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. But uh, yeah, this this is actually pretty important and uh, sure. i'm a i'm a huge fan of this and oh, yeah. it's it's taking direct shots at sony man oh yeah 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 it's it, i mean sony needs to cut it out i mean yeah. and and you know we have a part b of this story but at, at, at the end of the day again sony's gonna have to this is gonna cost them big uh, especially when, when again when they've turned their back on arguably the biggest game happening right this minute fortnite and, like come on yeah you, you got a lot of these streamers that are really upset because they played and put a lot of time on their PlayStation. And now, like, I have a Switch and I can take this because, you know, I played on my phone, but I have a Switch and I can go to the park or I can take this to the convention with me instead oh, yeah. of lugging my PlayStation. Um, but I can't take my account. That's yeah. problematic. Yeah, that was um, a story that we covered uh, uh, last week. Last week. Yeah. But yeah, and, so so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and so a story comes out. This is a story. It, it was a former Sony developer, uh, John Smedley, who worked on um, what uh, what Daybreak and the, he's Daybreak. They were formerly Sony Online Entertainment. Okay. And and he basically says the reason Sony's not doing it is because of the money. They yeah. said they want to lock people into their ecosystem and collect all the money from them. And if they can do something on Sony and somewhere else, they're not down with that because right. they feel like it's costing them money. Right. Because um, uh, for take for example, take a game like Fortnite. Um, if you are playing on your PlayStation and you buy a cosmetic, you buy a loot box or whatever, uh, they Sony get, a get uh, they get a cut of that, uh, mm -hmm. and they don't want any situation where money was spent on cosmetics and you are using those cosmetics that you did not purchase on PlayStation right. on PlayStation. They don't exactly. want that. Exactly. And it goes with any, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and that's problematic because at, yeah. the, at the end of the day, people that are playing, and I'm just going to use Fortnite, for example, if they're mm. playing it on PlayStation, they're not playing it on Xbox. Oh. They may be playing it on PC, um, but they want to play it on Switch again because Switch is at it's this the point it's the, it's the portable it's the console. Portable console, 
Yeah. I mean, these guys go to conventions, they go hang out with each other, and if they can say, hey, I'm going to take my Switch, I'm going to get me a 4G hotspot, we're going to chill at the park and play Fortnite on the Switch instead of using a janky phone with the touch controls, which is cumbersome. Yeah. It's just, to, to say easy, um, to say um, politely, it's, yeah. it's just it's just bad business at, at the end of the day. And the money they think they're keeping now is going to cost them down the road. I um, am a firm believer of that, yep. And I, I think Fortnite is is um, an opening salvo. Uh, Minecraft is can be problematic, and Minecraft is going to be problematic because people play Minecraft at school because they have oh, yeah. educate they have um they have uh, education Minecraft um software and, and levels and stuff. So when when you when you go to school and you say, hey, I can go home and and do this on my Xbox, my computer, my phone, my iPad, or my Switch, but I can't do it on my PlayStation. The schools don't have PlayStations; they all no. have PCs. So if and this play together is locking Sony out because Microsoft said, "Hey, look, either you do the play together or you don't. We're not yeah. gonna we're not gonna let you say you can have your Minecraft and play on PC. Either you're gonna do everything or nothing." So yeah, because playing, um, Microsoft owns uh, Mojang, who are yeah. the developers behind uh, Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so currently the PlayStation Four version of Minecraft is a Single community, just PlayStation. Yep. yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know, man. Uh, this, I mean, it looks like Microsoft and Nintendo are trying to pave the way when it comes to crossplay on consoles. Uh, I, I right. will stress that, um, you know, and Mori Jin just uh, made uh, made note of that that uh, Sony is okay with crossplay, but just with PC. But just like, with PC. Just with PC. But that's it. The, the, there's a problem with that because they can eventually get locked out of that. Um, and and again, and, and if, then they, if and then they have opportunities to do that mm-hmm. and then they don't do it. Right. If let, let me let me say this: if I'm Dragon Ball Fighter Z, right? Mm-hmm. Do I want to make the game cross compatible with PC and PlayStation only, or do I want to make it cross platform with PC, Xbox, and, and Nintendo? Because now I got three platforms to yep. two. That I can sell sell games on, and one of those platforms is a year old and still selling like hot fire to the Nintendo Switch, and and not on top on top of it not uh, selling like hot fires. It's got a dirt of software. There's yeah. there's spots to be filled, and Dragon Ball Z is going to be fill, is filling the spot that people want because the only fighting game on Switch right now is Arms, Street Fighter Two, and then the upcoming Smash, where Smash is going to be a, a Smash. Is it hit, the uh, is it the uh, what's it called the Street oh, Fighter the, collection? Yeah, the Street Fighter collection. The anniversary also- collection. So I think that it um, includes Alpha, Street Fighter 2, and Street Fighter 3, yeah. And then also the, uh, the is it the Final Fantasy game? The Final Fantasy fighting game? Uh, what do they call it? Final um, Fantasy? Oh, Dissidia, whatever? Yeah, Dissidia, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And that's there too. And I think they have the, the SNK Heroines fighting game as well. Oh, do they? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's yeah. garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, Dragon Ball Z fills a spot. Definitely. With, with, it's um, definitely one of the hottest uh, fighting right. games right now. Um, I, I wouldn't think that um, Arc System Works would keep uh, their other games out off the list as well. I mean, if it can run on it, then put it on there. To put it on there, yep. Yep. Yeah, but... Um, and, and see, here's another point that I wanted to make. In in situations where they can do cross-play, they don't do it. Um, you know, to, uh, referring to PlayStation. I mean, why go through the uh, trouble of locking down the crossplay aspect of Street Fighter V, but not with Marvel Infinite. It's like, why would you do that? Like, Marvel, Marvel Infinite suffered uh, because it didn't have the crossplay uh, function, and Street Fighter V did, and Marvel came out after. It's like, why, right. like, why uh, introduce this concept and then not continue with it? I, and I don't know if that was a Capcom thing that where they didn't do that, or if that yeah. was just, a, no, we're not doing crossplay. I, I, I think I think that what that might have been a one-off deal Sony made with Capcom to get exclusivity on the PlayStation to lock yeah. it out of the Xbox, because um, there's not been a game after that. Yeah, I mean, I and guess, it's like okay, we got would, when they when they PC, said that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I said I, I guess Fortnite with where you can play with PC and and mobile players, but Sony there's not been a big release game outside of Street Fighter Five that had that Sony PlayStation for PC crossplay. Yeah, yeah, and and that's what I was like. Why aren't we getting this? Like, I I assumed 
going forward that each and every um game that was multi-platform would just be crossplay. It's like because mm-hmm. the technology is there, we can take, you know, take advantage of it. We can use it. It's possible. Right. But right. it just has not been happening on the Sony PlayStation side. And and here you look at Microsoft. Uh, they're making it so you can uh, play your games anywhere and play cross-play. Like, I, I, I sat here and I played State of Decay 2 um, both on my PC and on my Xbox One with my brother, mm-hmm. and we played co-op. <laughs> like, we played That's co-op awesome. off the same off the same game, off the same purchase. Right. It was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Capcom introduced the Capcom Fighter Network and then stopped you. Stop. They just abandoned it. Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> Like it was, uh, yeah, it's just a Street Fighter 4 network. I agree. I, I agree with that 100%. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take, man. Sony is just being stubborn as hell when it comes to this. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's going to cost them, like, but right. it's just, and, and just a right matter now, of time. Yeah, they're in a position of power. So they, they really, they're like, look, we're, we've outsold play Sony, I mean, Microsoft two or three to one, as some numbers would suggest. Um, Nintendo Switch is not ca- catching up, and we got our exclusives, and yeah. and that's what they're sitting on. It's like we don't need to cross play with anybody else. And he said, let them do it because they need to to compete. And at, at the end of the day, it's going to cost them down the road. I agree. 